I've been putting off this project for a while. I have a blank wall in my dining room. I want to put something up on it, and I want it to be ceramic. This project started with a little bit of design work on the computer, made a symmetrical shape, and took it out to the laser to make a, a template to use to make the tiles. So this is one of several slabs. I won't make you watch me roll out all the slabs or cut all the tiles, but needless to say, this is the drill. I rib it and flip it and rib the other sides before I lay down the template and I use a needle tool to carefully go around the edges trying to keep the needle as vertical as possible. I let them dry for a little bit and thumb them off before fully letting them dry and going through the bisque. Each one I gave a coat of white glaze and then I laid them out in the pattern that I planned on putting them on the wall in anticipation of glazing. So I'm going to admit right now that this did not go as to plan. I wanted to do a uh, a bubbly seafoam green glaze over the top. I've never done this before uh, and whether I thought the whisk would work and I've anyways I eventually gave up. It was kind of a joke. I, I was using a hose here for a little bit trying to blow bigger bubbles. It was kind of working but it just did not do what I thought it needed to and so I decided to do it the old-fashioned way and fling it all over the place. One of the things I wanted to have this piece show is some connectivity between the tiles. I'd really hoped that the seafoam was going to have a pattern that went across tiles so you could see that they were in this position when they were made, but it just didn't happen. So I came back with some brown and black lace and kind of flung it across the tiles in lines just to show some connection between those tiles. So my plan for how to hang it, which I think is the most difficult thing in the project, is to install a steel spine of lightweight tubing, which you can see here. I've notched it, bent it, and did a little bit of welding. Not the most beautiful work, but uh, cleaned it up, painted it, and then uh, it was never perfectly flat. And I ended up opting to use silicone versus the epoxy that was the first choice to hold this bar onto the back of the tiles. I marked the spots I wanted to silicone with tape, uh, flipped it over. The silicone has got quite uh, quite large beads, gap filling, and I let that sit and cure up. For the smaller connecting rods I used these are uh, flags that you would use in a landscaping job to mark your sprinklers. I painted the shafts white and here I'm just cutting them up and laying them out where I want to glue them down with uh, structural epoxy. Now I've never done this before. In fact, making the tiles is not that intimidating. Figuring out how to hang them on the wall in a good looking way uh, I think was the crux of this project. And overall I think it worked pretty well. Not necessarily happy with the glaze. It's fine. I hope you enjoyed.